Good day. Welcome to another session with Guru Wanda. I'm your host, Gurvinder Singh. We feel the truth should be accepted by everyone. But more often than not, truth is unacceptable. And my friend Milind once asked me, why can not why can people not see the obvious? Why can't they see the truth? Indeed, a profound question. So let me start with the statement. The more a society drifts away from the truth, the less tolerant it is of the people who speak it. I know should know firsthand. I often offer a uh, factual news and analysis uh, and opinions based on my education, my research, my study, my analysis, bolstered by my own experience. And in, as some perverted reward for my efforts, I sometimes receive frenetic uh, responses from some people. So, this is my opinion and analysis. Everyone seems to claim a monopoly on the truth. Nothing wrong with that. Unfortunately, everyone's truth is, is different. It's based on their source of uh, information, their education, their experience and condition. And finally driven by their fear and greed. In fact, entire societies, races, communities, religions, even nations arrive at some kind of thinking, which is we can call as groupthink, which I prefer to describe as herd think. It matters little to the members of the herd what is right or wrong or what is the truth. Since they have no need to seek the truth, the truth is handed over to them. It's given to them. It's not their truth, but it's given to them. And they work with that. All they know instinctively is that they must stick together with the other herd members. The herd sticks together, they survive. They get security and provides a sense of belonging. And therefore, they are united in thought and action in everything. That is why in these herds or the mobs, anyone who dares to question or raise a doubt or even suggest a change is persecuted. Not only the individual, but their entire families by cotted and tortured and even killed. A herd member is not even permitted to think for themselves in terms of ideology, religion, caste, sect, race, nationality, etc. If we really want to understand what is going on, we should not look at the herd, we should look at the who's tending to the herd, who's the herder. And who are the herders in our modern societies nowadays? They are, uh, they keep the, the, that keep the herd together on a particular course. Are the media, uh, entertainment industry, uh, politicians, social leaders, educational institutions, uh, government bureaucracy, NGOs, uh, civil society, etc., etc. In a sense, they are the Pied Pipers of every society and action. Who they themselves are written are, are driven by their own greed and fears. If we are lucky, people will get a good herder, 
will lead people to happiness, prosperity, and success. If not, the herder will lead the herd to, to pain and even destruction. How else can one explain this lemming-like approach of the, in a system where people are unwilling to accept anything or, but the truth that has been handed over to them and di which has been manufactured and dished out to them. So toxic and uh, wooden-headed the herd becomes that they will resort to boycotts uh, and many forms of abuse and violence against non-conformists. For example, sh naming and shaming is, is a popular method uh, and more so these days. And therefore, the more a society drifts away from the truth, the less tolerant it is of those who speak out. In this stage of, uh, uh, of in the life of an organization, a society, a country, religion, or, or an ideology, it spells the beginning of the end. But at the end of the day, we are humans. And as humans, we have a conscience. And sometimes, many, often our conscience pricks us that what we are saying or doing is not right. And we are not being truthful in thought and deed. And that can sometimes be a big burden. And this will, can even destroy us bit by bit every day. So we are not allowed to act as per our conscience. For if we try to do so, the mobs will destroy us. Uh, so it's either we die slowly or at a one go. So I'm reminded of, of, uh, of speaking the truth. And even when the truth is unacceptable, how force of character and persistence can prevail. Uh, there was a, a professor, priest, and a true Christian. His name was Martin Luther. He lived in the late 15th, early 16th century. And for his writings, which challenged the Pope and the Church, Martin Luther was actually arrested and dragged before the Diet, which is the assembly. And he was asked, he was commanded to repudiate, repudiate, repudiate his, uh, his writings and say that they were heresy and that he, he that he was withdrawing from this and in front of all this powerful clergy and politicians said this and this uh, the official transcript uh, which I will which I quote is he says unless I am convicted by scripture and plain reason I do not accept the authority of popes and councils because they often contradict one another and themselves also. My conscience is captive to the word of God. I cannot and will not recant anything, for to go against conscience is neither right nor safe. So help me God. Amen. Very uh, inspiring. I don't know how many of us can do that. It's worth a try. So uh, that's enough for me for today. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video, found it useful. And I look forward to seeing you on my channel once again. Uh, if you like the video, please press the like button and share uh, with others and subscribe to this channel. I thank you for joining me today. This is Gurvinder Singh signing off.